Let's start off with Eddie Johnson. Boo. <laughs> um, I found the news like unsurprising. Uh, it's like CPD doing CPD things. This is like <laughs> mm -hmm. the same Chicago Police Department with black sites at Home and Square, the same Chicago Police Department that tortured uh, people under Burge, the same Chicago, Chicago Police Department that cover up the killing of Laquan McDonald, and that Eddie Johnson is the same cop who said that he has never seen police brutality on the force. Just knowing his uh, his history as an officer, he was like primarily appointed to like quail protest. Um, his his background involves a lot of involvement in the NATO protests, um, in which he would st help strategy the officer strategy to like quell the protest because protest was like really big back then. But Rom saw all these all these protests coming to his house, police getting on it like like people getting on his ass, and he says we're gonna hire this black man to put in front of the Chicago Police Department and we're gonna quell these relations and also like protest. You know, one of the things I go back to is when the school closings happened, and it was white people in front of the, you know, the news, right? Constantly giving these news about, oh, we're gonna close 50 schools. Then when they realized there was a lot of public backlash, they actually hired Latinos and African-Americans to head the departments, right? So, and somehow it's not that it made it better, right? But I think they have this belief that if the people look like you, then you think they represent you, which I think is our biggest mistake, right? To think that someone that has our phenotype actually has our consciousness or our well-being in mind.